Welcome to Joyful Healing. Joy is the highest vibration. So when you're joyful, it's like you're, all your cells are perking up. So I want you just to kind of shake, shake things off. Just let things go. Let the stress roll off your, off your back, so to speak, like a duck lets the water go. Just move those shoulders around. Just really open yourself up and start to just really relax. So it's like you're breathing in more peace and you're moving things, moving your arm around, moving however you feel guided to move in this moment, right? Loosening the hips, moving your neck, just breathing in more relaxation. and exhaling your stress, right? Breathing in more calm and exhaling more anxiety. And so as you just start to realize, wow, you actually do have some tension there. You may have thought that that was just normal but you're like oh yeah I know that I move my shoulder around I can actually feel that there is some there is some tension and so as I feel this shoulder moving around and I realize that I have this some tension just let it go and let it go just keep that moving, going, just release it because a lot of times you don't even know your stress because it's so normal for you that when you start to get in touch with your body, you're like, oh, that tension is tension. I thought that that was, that was normal, but normal might be normal, but it isn't natural. And so as you're just getting back in touch with your body, you're becoming more in touch and aligned with your, your head, your heart, the universe, and you're just moving to your own group, feeling the vibe. And hello world. <laughs> yes, hello world. <laughs> My husband met a friend and we stood a bit <laughs> talk with him. So <laughs> I'm a bit late, sorry. <laughs> well, were you having some joy? Oh yeah. Yes, so you were in the right place because that's what it's about. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> right. And Yes, it's just releasing, 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 and letting it move. Oh. I have to grow. <laughs> grow. Grow. grow up. <laughs> <sighs> well, and see, for me this morning, it feels like I feel like head rolls. You know, like, did you ever do? <laughs> oh. I like to roll everything. <laughs> right? It's just kind of like there's there. I can feel this energy right through here this morning. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I stopped making it mean anything. I just know I yeah. have to let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm loving this, this uh, meetings because it's my natural, it's my morning <laughs> gym. <laughs> In always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always, always. <laughs> and oh. it's just when you bring presence back to your body, it's like you're bringing presence to your breath, and in your breath, you realize there's a new breath every moment, and every moment can have a new thought. So if you're breathing in more 
beauty and you're breathing in more joy and you're breathing in more love and you're exhaling your stress and you're exhaling your worry and you're exhaling your doubt and you're starting to realize, wow, I can breathe in <sighs> more relaxation and <sighs> exhale out my, my issues. You're starting to become present to a new possibility. And that's what we're doing here with your body. We're giving you this new possibility that as you become more in line with joy, everything is perking up. Every little cell, every little organ in your body is going, oh my gosh, I am thriving. This is so exciting. I'm coming back into alignment to what it knows what to do naturally. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. <laughs> Time for cartwheels. <laughs> and for me, it's so good to do what my body asks me to do without thinking, just feeling and doing. Yeah. It's so real easy. Well, so <laughs> yeah. Well, I was. Even when you, know, you don't have anything to do. <laughs> Yes. Well, that's, that's, isn't that what health is really? When, when you realize your, your body takes care of itself. That's how I feel. It's like, I, I get more vital or more flexible or more capable of things every year as I have more experience on this planet because I have identified that that's, my body is capable of doing anything because it's healthy. Today, I'm going to be your echo because you, you say such lovely things. So your body knows how to heal itself. <laughs> you, you said that. <laughs> I repeat because it's important. <laughs> I learned at my uh, theater classes that uh, something important has to be repeated three times, <laughs> at least. Uh, of course, there are there are no no has to, but uh, <laughs> I like it. Well, it 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 does depend, right? Yeah. For me, one of the things I've discovered with my trusting my inner guidance is it used to take me three times <laughs> before I would listen <laughs> when yeah. I would hear it. When I'd feel it through time, then I go, oh, okay, I better do this. And now it's just like, you know, first time. Oh, I know what I know how to trust because it always has the best answer, right? So mm. it's, it's like my, I was saying to someone last night, it's like my free will only chooses to, to inner guidance. So there's really only ever one choice when you get to that point. It's just surrender to what comes through, which is natural. Yeah. And that is because you are more clever than I. <laughs> because I don't have to, uh, I sometimes only have to listen one time, but many times I have to listen <laughs> hundreds of times before. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that has any- pay for that. <laughs> I would say that's because you're inundated with more other energies around you than I am. Yeah. But of course, when I started to listen to my intuition, uh, things changed. Um, and I'm much better. <laughs> and now I decide by my heart, so it's quick. But sometimes I have, well, I'm human. <laughs> it's like the waves. And sometimes I have ups. Yeah. And sometimes I have downs. I have much more ups than before. And the downs are not so downs. It's, we are humans sometimes. We have downs. downs. It's natural. <laughs> well, yeah. You, yeah, I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to step out and say this phrase that we have been talking about for centuries that we're only human. Yeah. It's it's like they're still in this box and it's this old paradigm. Paradigm <laughs> of duality. We are spirit. We are energy and we are living human lives. Yeah. Totally different. 
<laughs> so it's 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 like like the wind coming or the waves coming there can be a different experience and the emotion can be like oh, am i supposed to buy into this but it's almost like you can see it and you just go it's just the wind it's just this wind this this sadness is coming through you know me and it's like the identification that i would have had with it in the past yeah disappears yeah. because it's just like i think like a child playing and they might start to i want that i want that and they and they oh <laughs> and then the mother says do you want a candy and they're like okay sure no <laughs> <laughs> i want candies i want i want <laughs> yeah <laughs> those kinds of candies <laughs> So I'm saying this because lots of people are still in that in these human groups Yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I have to learn to speak. <laughs> well, I, to me, um, I've started to use the analogy, right, of the first time the internet started in 1991. Like I certainly didn't jump on the worldwide internet, you know, worldwide web back in 1991. Um, I mean, it was still, <laughs> I think even in 1998, <laughs> you know, it was still like kind of, I'd heard about it now, but what would, what would you want to go in there for, right? Like, and yeah. there, there are still people that are like, ooh, right? So everybody's at a different place at a different time. And that's how I feel about this yeah, shift into consciousness years. except in this <laughs> case the world is being forced you know in that sense of waking up with these containments within themselves in their houses and their cities and communities that they get to let go of some patterns faster than taking 20 years <laughs> yes I, I, I thought that uh, I was invited to go to Facebook and I said, me, I don't have time for that. And now I love Facebook because it's part of my life and it's, and it's not uh, uh, losing my time with Facebook. It is, I have so much to learn. I, I receive so much by internet. Uh, like you, I couldn't be with you now if it was not uh, the internet. So this is a, everything can be used as a, a harmful thing or as a gift. You choose how to use things. But yeah. you have the, the, um, the great power of having things and uh, being able to choose. Yeah, lots of opportunities, infinite yeah. opportunities. And you can choose them. What can be? <laughs> better than this <laughs> mm -hmm. yes when we well even when you bring up facebook and right now um it's the choice of using something and how you want to use it and understanding that they have choice too <laughs> and so if they want to put limitations or censorship into it which I've discovered with some of the things I've posted, um, that's their choice and it's my choice to play by their rules, right? You know, and, and to go with that. And it's my choice to move on, which should, Telegram is something I'm looking at right now. There's, do you know about the World Alliance of Doctors and Nurses and um lawyers and practitioners that have come together the world freedom alliance freedom it's in europe it started i don't know that that one but i know that there are lots of unions now and lots of lots of alliances now because people are uh, coming together to help yes. themselves help uh, in the comments and uh, spread joy in the world and spread a better life in the world and create a better world yeah, yeah. for them and themselves so there are infinite choices on there too yeah because these are all organizations and or, you know people coming together because they're in the same vibe and idea so they're 
they're cooperating because of their heart instead of thinking and being controlled by an objective. Yeah, you may choose. It's so good. It was so good when I heard that uh, uh, some people, some persons who are doing a kind of uh, universal library that could be uh, seen by everyone in, in the world. With internet, you can have all the books and uh, people in Uganda can read them and uh, not pay for them or, or pay a right. fee or something. So now uh, internet gives us millions, hundreds of opportunities of doing what you wish with a, for free or, or, or with a lower price. And uh, it's always here. You are here. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. My friends are here. <laughs> Each one in, in the comfort of their homes, but all my friends are here. <laughs> I can talk to them. I can uh, give them a hug. Like you and me now and uh, the rest of the world. And, and that's so nice. And I can show it's like water. We can use water to drink and to, to bath ourselves and to, to give us energy. Or you can use water to drown yourself. So <laughs> you can do <laughs> That is so, so good. I think that's the first time I've heard that. That's, that's so powerful, right? Because water gives us life, but too much water. In the sense, we can, huh, for if we, it's, 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 um, is it obeying the rules of water? Or what is it that causes you to say, I'm thinking about this now. I'm thinking um, when we, if someone drowns, they take, you know, huh, they're taking too much water and they, you can say they can't swim, but well, like, yeah, my head, but I just like it. Okay, I'll go back to what you said without thinking about it. <laughs> That's what I feel now because I learned um, many times ago. Uh, I was listening to the, to other people's uh, advices, mm -hmm. and those advices were uh, what they thought it was good for them or me mm -hmm. or the world, and based many times based on fear. Yeah. Yeah. So people who wishes to be nice for. Uh, it does, which is to help us, but we uh, it's from the paradigm of their fears and all, uh, their lessons that they learned from their parents or grandparents, parents or society. It was the best they could, mm -hmm. it was to help other people, but it was based on that ancient part paradigm that I right. know it, uh, they don't make sense for me now. So as I learned, as I grew up, uh, I learned that uh, I it was better for me to trust my intuition. So internet at the beginning was, oh, um, you must be afraid because some bad things can come from that or they can spy you or they, you blah, 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 something. <laughs> or uh, it will um, take you a lot of time that you don't have. Mm -hmm. Then that was real for me because I believed that. that. Then I wanted to do a program, a special program with a mentor, and it was I was in Portugal, she was in the United States. So I had to, to <laughs> go out my limitations and right. learn about doing things by Zoom and things like that. Mm -hmm. It was good. It made me grew. It made me um, know lots of interesting people. Later I did other programs. I met you. I met, I am so rich now for the people that I met because I uh, knew what my limitations and my fears. Yeah. It were not my fears, it were other people's fears. Yes. I tried 
I saw. Oh, this is size. This is good. <laughs> so why not? So that's it. And everybody's right. And everybody has her own reasons. Okay, that's okay. That's nice. Now I feel what is good for me. <laughs> In the moment, <laughs> and now I'm saying yes, internet. And <laughs> in two hours, I may say no to internet. I have other things to do. <laughs> oh, leave me like my body. <laughs> oh, you stopped like this, <laughs> Indian. <laughs> I was not here for you in the beginning. Now I am here for you. <laughs> and you'll jump again when you wish, when you can, when the universe lets you. <laughs> we are all here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the things with the internet. Sometimes it can get unstable as the, as the, as the information will say, because sometimes the signal can be distant and we're going, did I really feel that guidance? And that's the times when, when you have to take a, take a break or a moment to say, is that really what I'm feeling? Because it's such a weak signal. And then you get the signal and you're like, yes, that's what I'm guided to do. And I feel what you share. Here. <laughs> yes. You weren't in the internet, but you were in the universe net. <laughs> I was. I was. I was. And I was just feeling how lucky people are to have heard what you said. And if you didn't hear what Mina said, I would go back and listen to it. Because, I mean, one thing is when she says, the vibe comes out anyway. So even if you haven't intellectualized and completely understood what she said about it still starts to affect you and it's something that I was it's when we're in this space of joy and when we're wanting to be in joy because we know joy is ooh, better than mm, um it feels better in our body we're not that's what we're saying. It, it feels better than, hmm. Um, so when you know that and you start to be that and you be that more, you're actually affecting the world. You're affecting the world if you're like, Ugh, but in a much lower vibration. And you, you get to look at what she was saying about what you wanna fear, what other people believe you need to do. And there's so many people that are older, like 70s, 80s, that have grown up listening to the news on the TV. And it was a novelty for them. They didn't have it. And then one day this box showed up in their house and it started to tell the news <laughs> and, and they started to listen to it. And the youngsters, grew up some, you know, nowadays they're like on the internet and they're hearing a variety of opinions and they've got choice. Where those other people grew up maybe only having one channel first and then three channels and then five. And then, it's, you know, then we got into this world of cable. That's, that's the environment they grew up in. So they've been very, it's been a slow process for them of expansion. And the youngsters are already like, poof, so many choices, so many things to do. And I find it interesting because where I'm on the island, I come across these some older people and what they're listening to is they're like, it's the young people that are still causing the problems. <laughs> it's the young people that aren't wearing the masks. It's the young people that are going partying. They're not listening. And I'm like, you're right. They're not listening to what you're listening to. Yeah. They're not listening to that broadcast. They're listening to other things and that's what they believe. Well, they're wrong. Well, 
Well, and it, many, many of those uh, people that grew in box now are not green, green in box, growing in box. They are defining with the box. <laughs> yeah. They are downsizing with the box but, yeah. because they kept hearing what other people uh, were telling them. <laughs> Instead of doing like those young people that listen to their heart and their uh, and they go for their joy, yes. they go for their joy. And yes. when we are in joy, we don't get diseases. <laughs> yes, and and that's that's the paradigm shift, right? But I found it interesting that this sense of still like because they also grew up. Shh, children are seen, not heard, <laughs> right? And so there's then looking at the younger generation and still wanting to shake a finger like I know better and then, instead of what could they learning teach me? With them. <laughs> what could they learning with them because a lot of them came to challenges and <laughs> and yeah. to see oh there is other way. Right. <laughs> and some can be better. Yes. Some don't, <laughs> but mm -hmm. open your mind. Open your heart. <laughs> See the sunshine. <laughs> and one, two, three, twelve. Twelve geese. Twelve geese. Is that in this Christmas song? Twelve geese a laying. No, that's five geese a laying. Twelve just flew by. No. <laughs> no, that's how many geese? Is it twelve geese a gag? I don't know. I have to sing the song. Twelve geese for you. <laughs> So yes, it's about what you want to connect with and, and what you're saying is whenever you fear something, you limit your life, you limit your possibilities and you limit how your body handles things because you're seeing it limited. And if you doubt what we're saying, just notice today, just put on a hat <laughs> that says, okay, what if I'm open to receiving this new moment and I can see the joy in it or the good in it? Let me just try that on and try it on like you're trying on a new wardrobe or a new hat and just see what it feels like. And then you might realize, you know what? This really feels uncomfortable for me that all these happy people are trying to tell me all these good things. And then you're like, well, well, just and notice when you start to judge or point a finger that you're going, you know, inward. The, the stress is coming in you. The tension is coming up in your body, and that's an opportunity to let it go, and say, "Okay, I see. Happy, joyful people actually make me feel more stressed because I want to make them wrong for feeling joyful because I'm really not joyful." <laughs> <laughs> And very, very mental people are not listening to us <laughs> because we are the rule girls. <laughs> yeah. They won't lose time with us, except if the world challenge them <laughs> and they ask me for <laughs> some solution. Right. As I was, I the a very scientific mental person. <laughs> and now I'm here because I made my experiments. So you very scientific person, you very mental person, you can say that's not for me, but how about to try something? You can try, you can make the experience, then you are, then you see, does it work for you? Is it useful useful for you or not? If it is, okay, good. Right. <laughs> if it's not. Okay, go. <laughs> but I did that because I was a very scientific person, so I have to have proof. <laughs> I made the experience, the experiences. I saw the results. I started to lie. <laughs> it's they started to make me feel better. They started to give me better health, more joy. Mm -hmm. And so I, I got the guts to to be here, <laughs> showing my face, <laughs> showing what yeah. I learned, 
things that I doubted before, things that more than doubted, things that I rejected before, because well, it was not what I learned at school. <laughs> and now they are real for me. They made me a lot of good. And I got enough proofs, me, the scientific person, to trust and to release to the universe. So why not to make the experience of what feels better for you? What is more useful for you? The things that you learned and got good <laughs> stuff in your mind. Mm -hmm. Are they working for you in this moment? Are you happy? Are you healthy? Are you healthy? Yes? Keep doing that. No? Do you wish that? Okay. Why not to experience, to taste the different flavor <laughs> and see if you like it better or not? <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> and it's just as you said, because you're a scientist, you know, you needed to make your own experiences because from a scientist standpoint, you just couldn't believe this, woo, um, you know, this different. Where for me, I wouldn't have said I was a scientist. I was, um, I, I liked math, you know, in that sense. I was a business person. <laughs> and the business person, mm -hmm. It, it never made sense to me how business operated, right? Is that, that I could be making all this money, but so stressed and my body could be feeling so awful. And for me, that was the moment that just kind of said, this, I, I feel like life is supposed to be about something more than work, 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 work getting labels, recognition, earning money, and so everybody's going to come to it a little differently. And this is why I feel 2020 is such a blessing because it's, it's, it mainly, I hear it from men. Men will say things to me like, I didn't even know I was stressed. <laughs> yeah. Right. I was just, I was just working. I was just doing what I needed to do. There was no room for feelings. There was no room to notice anything. They knew they had to be an achiever. They were, knew they had to go out and make money. They still had that, that whole belief system that that is how they, that just finds their value. And from that two minute, two week or first lockdown, they started to realize, huh, well, wow, this is what it feels like not having to go to work, not having to deal with the traffic, not having to jump on an airplane, you know, all these things that they would never have stopped and taken time out for a mindfulness retreat or let me find out why I'm stressed because they didn't know they were stressed. <laughs> and that opens that opened them up and they start to see differently and go, you know what? I like spending time with my family. I notice my children are different when I'm actually around and I'm relaxed with them. And that all these are experiences. And when you have your own personal experience about doing something differently, that's when you convince yourself, oh, this is what's really true for me. That person might be scared to go on the internet because someone's watching them <laughs> or they're scared about what's going on. My experiences, I've connected with Mina in Portugal. You know, my experiences, I've connected with other people all around the world, right? I have my experiences is so I've convinced myself that it really does have advantages and blessings. So then that becomes my experience, that becomes Mina's experience. And that is the experience of the younger generation. <laughs> they are connected with people all over. And although you might be saying as a parent, but do you know them? <laughs> do you know who you're playing games with on the other side of the world? Do you really know them? Because they're so yeah, concerned. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We never had, we never, 
we are not, we are not, um, we, we are never physically present <laughs> with each other. Never. Yeah. Nope. But we are so much connected. Yes. We are sisters in the heart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the first person you met physically after you saw them online? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I remember meeting Melody was the first one in Ireland, and, and it was like, oh, that's what the rest of your body looks like. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> right? Because you're so used to just seeing this part, right? And it's like, oh, there you go. You, you know, you have legs, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but now I am dressing and and now I am dressing. Yeah. And of course some people don't dress and it's okay because yeah. it is as you believe. If you believe that something will harm you, maybe it will. You believe that so you attract that you what you believe. And as I believe the world is a train, as I believe that I can trust the universe mm -hmm. because the universe wishes my supreme good, mm -hmm. things are happening like this for me. Even in, when things that I don't like happen to me, now I know and I trust that it is for my highest good. Yeah. That there is something that I don't know the reason, but some higher energy knows, and I learned to trust them. Right. And it was a quantum gem for me. And this, it still is happening because I need more quantum gem. <laughs> I realized that. But I am so far away from where I was before and I am so much better yeah. in my life and the, the, it was what you told before there is something more and many people in this moment is looking for that something more mm -hmm. because they feel there is something more there is something better for, for them waiting for them right so what's the gift in this actual state. What's the gift for you? What's the gift for you? Look at it. Ask for it. <laughs> because you ask, so you will receive. <laughs> ask and you shall receive, right? If I, I am um, fundamental principle, if you read the Bible, it says ask and you shall receive and, and came to me just then as you were sharing was last year I met a I did some work with a pastor and I was like so you've pastored a church your whole life like whatever that is 40 years <laughs> and yet his ideas of what truly like I would say so you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior yeah you baptize people, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And I'm like, so if doesn't that mean then Jesus is supposed to be in you? Definitely. Like, yeah. And I'm like, so if that's the case, <laughs> did, you know, Jesus believed in healing, right? Jesus yeah. believed, he didn't just believe it, he just said, you're healed. <laughs> he said, you know, he's like, you love people. That's the greatest commandment. So if he is like that and you believe, he's in you, if that's what you believe, then why do you keep talking about yourself like you're a sinner? And he's like, well, nobody's ever said that to me before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how, you know, how many people come to you <laughs> to listen to your sermons that still come to you because you're the pastor, that you have all these kind of, and and nobody in your organization really has been talking about being and allowing this belief that you have to step forward all the time not just on Sundays and he's like oh, how do you know all this 
It's be I'm connected to the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna give you Jesus. <laughs> you don't know. Jesus also, uh, you are talking about it. Jesus also said that you, every one of us, can do the same as I do. Yes. Yeah. You are a son of God, so you have all the qualities of God. And some people don't believe that. So a, some people hear some words that Jesus said and don't hear the other because they are not in their, in their paradigm. Right. It was a very important thing for me because Jesus said that and Jesus healed with their hands, with his hands. And right. I was asking myself, may I? <laughs> That's why I um, was um, moved to do uh, Reiki, to learn about Reiki and uh -huh. uh, to heal with our hands. Uh, but I had to try it too. <laughs> it's too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because he said that. So, and he, all, he, and he also said, listen to the signs. Really. Mm. Because in the sounds there are many answers. That's why I like to meditate now. Sometimes it sounds for me. <laughs> it is good. Right. So experience me. Experience. Twirl around, see a different perspective. Mm, Change awesome. your view. Look that way for change. Look that yeah. way for change. Look even behind you. Look far ahead. And then it all comes back to what you believe in here is what you're perceiving when you look. Mm -hmm. And so now in this moment, I have Jesus in my heart. Yes. And I have other masters in my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talk a free religion with no one. I, I'm talking now. Not because... Um, so I am... Deeply, uh, I, mean, I can say religious, but it's not religious, it's spiritual. I'm deeply spiritual, but deeply, deeply, deeply. Uh, all the time, all the minutes, all the seconds. Yeah. And uh, I don't usually talk with religion to no one because I don't want to push or pull, I don't know or how you say it, to. How do you want to um, force no one to, right. to have, uh, to believe in what I believe? Right. Just, I am free and I love that other people, that all other people be free to and yes. think for themselves and accept for themselves what they wish, what they feel is better for them. Mm -hmm. So, I talk of Jesus, I talk of Buddha, I talk of many yeah. others. I mean, if you all had to have good. a dinner all party, yeah. if you had to have a dinner party, wouldn't you want to have those types of people sitting there? There's Jesus, there's Buddha, there's Allah, you know, like those would be the kind Confucius, um, Leza, you know, like, but I would like to have a whole assortment of people that are in that space of knowing that what there's so much more right it's like i the, the for me the the words of that i remember were two things was jesus said my children are my true disciples and you can do things greater than i those were the scriptures that always spoke to me from the time i was a child so i'm like if he's saying i can do things greater than him <laughs> then he's saying step out baby right yeah. Yet I had to make all my experiences to see that the world that I was being conditioned in was completely contrary. And as you said, I went through that period of wanting to convince people that they were seeing it the wrong way. Don't you get it? And yeah, we, you know, we wish to help. We, yeah. We think I know the answer for you. And sometimes I think I know, and I, I sometimes I, I know I see 
clearly than the other person, and I know the answers to them. But they still have to make their me. experience. Yeah, yes, it's not for me to impose anything. Right. It's for them to wish to receive when they wish, if they wish, <laughs> or not. Yeah. And that's where I'm at now is to realize that I can provide information. I can be, um, you know, be the light and that will come out from me. And if somebody wants to come and have a conversation with me and ask about that, I can. I can, if I'm guided to say, did you see the goose? Not, you know, and, and if they saw it, then there's, that's they saw it, and if they didn't see it, they didn't see it. And it's all right. I get to, it's all right, and you get to. Uh, what I felt is is I get to keep so much more beautiful energy to be, um, in a sense, with the people that want the help and healing, that want the transformation. Those I can I can then connect with deeper, and also it's just being able to connect with you and, and other heartfelt people that are in this paradigm that just go, it's so, it's so much easier. Right. And you just, it's a whole other language. It's like, we're not talking Portuguese or English. We're talking heart. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I love this. We're talking hearts. Oh, <laughs> there are talking heads and we are talking hearts. Yes. <laughs> it's <a> tweetable. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. We're the talking hearts. Maybe that could be the name of our show. The talking hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm not talking English. <laughs> I'm not talking Portuguese. <laughs> um, Actually, you, you can teach other. me three new words every every week. You can, okay, so I say hello. How do I say hello? Hola. Hola? Okay. Hola. Hola. It's very similar. similar it's to Spanish. Spanish. Okay. So, hola. How are you? Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Hola. Como estás? Como estás is Spanish. Right. But como estás is Portuguese. It's similar. Same words. Only okay. different accents. Okay. <laughs> como estás? And... Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this. And um, how yeah, about yeah. dancing? I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> but you were talking something that is very important. It was very important for me because since I was a girl, people always uh, came to me for advice, even mm -hmm. uh, as I was a little child. That was that, uh, why. I grew and decided to be a coach too. But I was a healer, you know? I was a healer. I, I wish to end the suffering of humanity. Not end, of course, but do my best for really something suffering. So I am a healer since I was maybe 10 years before I was a kid. <laughs> right. But uh, I was that I could see a lot. Mm -hmm. that other people didn't uh, see for themselves. Um, mm -hmm. So people uh, came to me for advice or for, uh, for love to, for support. Right. And uh, I was right a lot of times. That's odd. <laughs> because I felt that, okay, I, I see that person, I can help him. I would go there for help, for to help, and right. it was not the time. Their time, they didn't wish my help many times, <laughs> and there was I was being intrusive, and I had to learn that. <laughs> and now I I learned that uh, okay, I'm here. I am alive, like you said. I'm alive. I'm here. People that wishes can come to me for advice or for support or something, but when they wish, and I give the support, if it feels good to me, it's quite different. 
So it's not to go to the other person and say, do this, blah, 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 blah. No. They are their own power. They are their own known and have their own known. And of course, we are here to help. Right. But we are here. Now, I wait to be invited. I ask, in, uh, I enter in other people, like if she wishes. We are here, the two of us. Maybe we are here alone with only the two of us. People will listen to us and be with us. If they wish, they click the button. If not, okay. Yeah. We are here raising the energy for us. Yes. And for the universe and for people that resonates and wish to listen to us. Mm -hmm. And if not, it's all right. It's okay. It's wonderful. It's, it is. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to write about because what came to me just then is, is when you're saying about going to other people and most of us in the heart have all done that. We want, we, we feel this joy, this bliss, and we want, we want you yes. to feel it too. Yes. We, we you can have it. It's almost like we're shaking you. You're like, get it, get it. And I'm, I was remembered about recovery programs and how a friend had told me that in AA, it's like only 5% recover. That's why they have the 12 steps, right? People come, but they get confronted and they get confronted. And then what just came to me was, Oh, I wonder why the politicians are like <laughs> in a different state. They're addicted. They're addicted. They're addicted to the structures in place. They're addicted to their habits. And they 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 are unaware they're even addicted. It's like the alcoholic that doesn't know they're addicted until something dramatically happens. So all their conscious, I think their um, what is it? Their 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 conscience, their conscience, not their conscious, their conscience, their their morals, they are being tested. And only when people in and even in doctors, lawyers, I think all over the world, people are now being tested to say, are does your heart still in alignment with your head? Does it still feel like this is the correct experience for you to be treating somebody this way? Does it still feel that way and as they get more connected with the heart they're going to recover <laughs> and they're going to see the box of, of patterns that they've been addicted to and how they've managed our world and that then will diminish and and the structure will be deleted the way it is because whatever country you're in the governments have to change and people are thinking that governments governments will solve their problems instead of thinking they are they must be the government right. of themselves yes Jacqueline, i have to go now so yes i will go <laughs> now <laughs> on being the government each of us is the government star. so i'll go to the universe. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Everybody bye -bye. be careful. Love, Love you from Canada to Portugal. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>